Your mind is floating while sitting on the couch when Nancy suddenly came that made you flinch. Hey, you need to hurry up. We're going to be late for work. Stop the dreaming, friend. It's early in the morning. Look at you. You're already facing me. You go to the bathroom and do your routine. You two left the house early because of the traffic, your park YN and your school friend Nancy. You're both working in the same company, but you are still new. You got your job a month ago after coming back from US. Nancy helped you to find a job. Luckily, you got accepted in the company where she's working and you got assigned in the planning team. Hey, do you know that the new CEO is coming today? I already know that. They said he's handsome and single. I'm not interested. Why did you become a cold person after breaking up with Taeyong? Where's the old you that I know? Oh, come on, Nancy. Why did you even bring his name in our conversation? Because you change a lot. By the way, your brother wants to give you this, but he is in hurry because he has a surgery. So he asked me to give your medicine to you. I already told him that I can buy my own medicine. That's why I'm working so hard to support myself. And also because I'm ashamed of him. Since my surgery until now, he's the one who supports all of the expenses. Just thank him for being loving brother to you. Honestly, I'm planning to seduce him. Do you think Jimin will like me? But you two are already flirting with each other. You notice that? Obviously. Miss Wyan, right? Our new CEO wants to see you. Your co-workers look at you, wondering why she is calling you. Why? Just come with me and I'll show you the CEO office. It's waiting for you. As you saw Nancy mounted at you. Why? But since you don't know, you just shrug your shoulder. You follow her. She knocks and let you in. You go inside and saw a guy facing his back to you as you greet him. Good morning, sir. I'm Park YM. Yes, I know you. Know me? Why his voice is so familiar? Theon? OMG, don't tell me he is the new CEO. Of course he is. But why did he call me? To belittle me? Long time no see, YN. Mr. Kim, why did you call me? Why are you in hurry? Are you not happy to see me? Mr. Kim, I have my work that's waiting for me. Okay, I'll be straight. Starting today, you are my secretary, okay? Yeah. Ken Theong, are you playing with me? And how I ended up being your secretary? Mr. Kim, not Theong. We're not friends to call me by my name. Miss Kim will teach you from now on, and your cabin is there in front of my office. Understand? Accept my offer or just resign? What if I resign? I know he is mad at me because I broke up with him two years ago without giving him any reasons. I know him very well. I'm sure he's doing this to get a revenge on me. Well, that's your choice. But I will use my name and connection so no one will accept you. I knew it. This asshole is planning something. But what if I really do what he said? I need a job to sustain my medicine. Fine, I let myself to lose on this time. 
fine. I'll accept your offer, Mr. Kim. Good. You can go now and take this file of documents. You take it and go to your new cabin. I'll make you suffer. I haven't started yet. You need to regret everything, YN. Good thing Miss Kim thought you well, and you memorized it pretty quickly. He called you so you go to his office with the papers, but when you opened the door, you saw a girl hugging him, but it's too late to back out now since they already noticed you. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Mr. Kim, here's the paper that you asked for. It's alright, just put in there on my table and you can leave now. Okay, Mr. Kim. You said and get out of his office. Who is that girl? His girlfriend? I thought he is single. Damn it, stop thinking about him. Can you stop acting now? She's gone. Do you think she got jealous? On what I saw, I think she's a cold type of person. She has changed. Usually, she is an energetic type of person. I don't know what happened to her. I need to go now. You owe me. You are going home when Mr. Kim is you. Where are you going? Mr. Kim, it's already 6 p.m. and I'm done with my work, so I'm going home now. Who told you that you're done with your work? Here, review this. I need this later. What? This is too much and you're telling me that you need it later? Any objections? No, Mr. Kim. You finish your work at 11 p.m. While you are driving, you felt dizzy because you didn't take your medicine on time because of Taeyong. The next day, it happened again. Taeyong will make you do your work till midnight. The good thing is you brought your medicine now, but the problem is you can't sleep late because it makes your body weak. You suffer from a liver cancer two years ago. They declare that your life has a limit, but luckily you survive. After three operations, you fully recovered, but there are many things that you are not allowed to do. First, to stay up late. It's forbidden, but now you keep on staying up late. But you can tell him your situation because that is the reason why you broke up with him. Because all you know, you're going to die. Taeyong went out of his office, but he noticed that the lights are still on in your cabin, but no one is there. So he picked on your cabin, but he panicked when he saw you laying on the floor, unconscious. He was scared when he saw you and don't know what to do. He approached you and put your head in his arms, trying to wake you up, but he got no answer. When he remembered your brother Jimin, they're friends, but their communication got cut when he and YN broke up. I hope he didn't change his number. He get his phone and dialed Jimin's number. It rings and he answer it. Hello, this is Dr. Park. How can I help you? Eeyong, it's me, Theyong. Who's Theyong? Oh, Kim Theyong. Yong, I need your help. I found YN in her cabin unconscious. I don't know what to do. What? I said an ambulance right now. After a minute, the ambulance arrives and take you. Theyong stands up and bump to your table and a bottle of medicine fall on the ground as he pick it up. He don't know what kind of medicine is it, but he knows something is wrong.
You guys arrived at the hospital and Jimmy immediately took you to the emergency room. After 30 minutes, he came out and slowly walked towards him. How is she young? She's fine now, but she's not awake yet. I already told her to avoid staying up late because her body can't handle it. I'm sorry, Yung. I'm the one who gave her a hard time. Actually, I'm her boss right now. I'm the reason why she's coming home late at night. I hope this won't happen again or I'll force her to resign. But Yung, I found this medicine in her table. I know there's something wrong with her. She's fine. Young, I already searched this medicine a while ago and I found out this medicine is for a patient with cancer. So please, Dr. Park, tell me the truth about her condition. I promised her two years ago that I won't tell you about her condition. But I think I should tell you now. Two years ago, she was diagnosed with stage 3 liver cancer. Her personal doctor told us that she's able to live for 6 months only. But we never gave up. We tried to find ways until one of my friends in the US recommended Y into her uncle, who is the best doctor in her condition. Even there's just a little hope, she grabbed that opportunity, and thanks God, after three operations, she survived. The cancer is gone but still taking the medicine for a year to fully recover. Actually, I didn't let her to work until she fully recovered but she is a hard-headed person. I know why she's doing that, because she's ashamed of me. I'm sorry, Yong. I didn't know about her condition and gave her a hard time. Why? Because you want to revenge for breaking up with you two years ago? I'm lying if I say no. But honestly, I did that to get her attention. But she keeps on ignoring me. I'm the one who accepted her to the company and make her my personal secretary. Because I want an explanation why she broke up with me that time. I felt miserable. I thought she dumped me for no reason. Please don't hate her. She never wanted to break up with you. But when she found out that her life has a limit, she would rather to choose that you are going to hurt her than you're hurting when she's gone. She should tell me that, Young. I'm a fool. I was angry with her for two years while she was fighting against her illness. I wish I was by her side when she's in pain. Stop crying now. You already know. It's up to you if you will continue on hating on her. Young, I still love your sister. When Nancy ran towards them, how is she? Yeah, Kim Young, you are the reason why she became like this. Don't worry, she's okay now. Two days later. You return to your work, but you notice that there is other employee in your table. The moment Young saw you, he grabbed your wrist and pulled you to his office. Mr. Kim, let me go. Are you okay now? How are you feeling? Mr. Kim, I won't go here if I'm not in a good condition. Oh, well, that's good. By the way, from now on, you're going to work in my office. What? The table next to mine, you can work there. But say, I mean, Mr. Kim, I don't want to hear your blah, blah, blah.
just follow your boss. That's my final decision. We're working in one room, and after 5 p.m., whether you finish or not, you need to go home. Understand? Last week, he wants me to go home late, and now he wants me to go home early. He's crazy. Miss Park, do you understand? Do you hear me? Yes, Mr. Kim. You are busy with the documents. When Taeyong came out of the office, he went to your favorite cafe. But when he came back, he saw you sleeping on your desk and your head is resting on the documents on the table. He took his jacket and put it on your shoulder, but your hair is covering your face, so he fixed it. He pulled his chair and sat beside you. After that, he rest his head on the desk and stare at you. I'm sorry if I wasn't there when you're suffering. What I'm gonna do now? I still love you. Can you love me back? You suddenly open your eyes and look at him. My feelings for you haven't changed, day, eh? But you already have a girlfriend. Who? Oh, I never have a girlfriend since we broke up. The girl last time is Nicole. We tried to prank you if you get jealous. Nicole, your cousin from London? Yes. Why? Are you jealous that time? A little? Can you come back to my life again, YM? But please, this time, tell me everything so I can take care of you. Mm. I will do that. As he hug you. And you hug him back. I love you. I love you too. You two were about to kiss when someone entered the office and he looks shocked. Oh, Churi Churi, I'm sorry guys, I didn't see anything. Please continue. Bye, see you later.